you can call me Cliff. So, today, uh, I'm going to basically just tell you guys how to put one command creations into your world, because unlike other one command YouTubers, I don't, uh, I don't tell you how to put one command creations into your world every time at the start of the video because that gets kind of annoying after a while. So I'm going to record this tutorial instead so that in the future you can just look at this and then know how to put one command creations into your world. Alright, so first of all you're going to have to find your spawn chunks, which you can do by either using your compass or killing yourself or using the slash set world spawn command. And once you've found your spawn chunks, you're ready to put in a one command creation. So you'll need to go over to the video of the creation that you want to put in your world, click on the link to the one command, then select all the way from the slash here uh, to the last curly bracket at the end and nothing else. Then hit uh, either control plus C or on Apple computers it's command plus C and on some other computers it's string plus C to copy the text and then go back over to Minecraft and you'll need a command block. Now to get a command block what you'll need to do uh, is go um, Can you see the slash down? There. Um, unfortunately, the bottom, the taskbar on my computer is kind of covering it. Um, but you're going to do... Um, In your Minecraft world, you're going to hit slash to bring up the chat with a slash there. Then hit G, tab twice to uh, I'm getting a lot of lag right now. Oh. Um. You're going to hit tab twice to get it to uh, complete give, then do tab to get your name, and like, and then another space, and then type in C O M M and press tab again to autocomplete minecraft colon command underscore lock. Now the reason tab completing wasn't working for me is the same reason that when I hit enter it says I do not have permission to use this command. And that is because I am I am not opt right now. So if you have this problem and you do not have if you don't have operator status on a server you need to get operator status on the server uh, and if you do not have cheats enabled in your world like what's happening to me right now uh, you can go into escape open to LAN, turn cheats on and start your LAN world and that will temporarily 
give you access to cheats so that you can get your command block. And also you'll need to be in creative mode so just do game mode C. Alright, so now that you're in your spawn chunks and you have your command copied and you have a command block, you'll want to place the command block down in the spawn chunks. Now remember the spawn chunks are a pretty big place and if you have multiple commands in your world, you don't have to put them right next to each other, and in fact, you should probably spread them out because that reduces lag. So I'm going to put this one way over here, which should still be in my spawn chunks. And then I'm going to open the command block and press Control plus V. On Apple computers, it'll be Command plus V, and on other computers it'll be string plus v then hit done and then I can and then you just power the command block any way you want whether it's with a button or a lever or a redstone torch or a block of redstone or one of my redstone arrows and if you do anything except for a redstone arrow don't power it from the top because that may break the machine And with that, you've successfully installed a one command creation. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay crafty.